5 News starts now. As the city gears up to add another sports team to its roster, it's also getting ready to bid farewell to a strip icon to make way for the team's permanent home in Las Vegas. The Oakland A's are in town for Big League Weekend, which kicks off tonight. And this week, the baseball organization released these renderings of the proposed Vegas ballpark, planned to be built on the site of the Tropicana Hotel. Fox 5's Mike Allen joins us live from the Las Vegas ballpark in Summerlin with more. Yeah, we just got a presentation of the ballpark from the lead architect, Bjarke Ingels, who's joining me right now. Okay, Bjarke, let's talk about what's behind us right here. This is a 3D model. This is the first one uh, that's been released. You gave us an overview about the roof, and that's what I'm going to ask you about first. These are five big panes. First of all, what are they going to be made out of, and what color are they going to be? Yeah, yes, so, so, it's, so essentially the... Um the, the, the ballpark is covered by these kind of major arches that are sort of almost like pennants uh, in, in shape, like triangles. They, they arch over the, 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 the ballpark and they lit in light from the north and the view of the, of the, um, of the strip. Uh, and they shade from all of the direct sunlight from, from the south. Uh, they, they'll be like steel arches covered in, uh, in a kind of metallic skin, almost like sparkles. Uh, and then sort of as transparent as possible for the, for the soft daylight and the views of the, of the strip. Was it difficult, Bjarke, to try to fit this ballpark within nine acres? That's really small for a ballpark. There's only one ballpark in the majors that's smaller than that in terms of its footprint. Was that a challenge for you? I mean, I mean of course, it's, uh, it's, it's been a constraint, but I think it's actually been a constraint that's been aligned with what we were trying to do. Because essentially for a ballpark, you want to create the greatest possible intimacy and proximity to the, to the, to the game, to the players. So by, by, by designing the most compact possible bowl, you have the perfect sight lines. The, the farthest seat is as close to the game as it can possibly be. And that actually naturally restricts the footprint down to the nine acres. So I think by making it more compact, we create more energy and we create more proximity and intimacy with the sport. And, and I just want to have you step back here so that we can kind of walk over here. There are two things in this picture that are going to be world records when this is built. This is the largest LED screen and the largest glass pane window, as I understand. Talk about the challenges in making these, because obviously in order to set a world record, that's a, that's a big feat. No, no, exactly, but I, I think basically what we wanted to do is we, we wanted to take advantage of the canvas of the pennant uh, arch for the, for, for the board and also the, the, the pennant itself actually comes to life with, with light uh, as well. And then of course we wanted to create this kind of sensation of being on the strip. So here it's daylight, but you can see uh, Hotel New York, New York. You can capture sort of MGM and you can see Excalibur in the other direction. But then of course, as the, as the night falls, the lights will turn on and you'll really feel the, the Vegas vibe as, as the game ends. It, it seems very intentionally Vegas. Bjarke, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Again, this ballpark is set to break ground within the next year or two. 2028 is the set opening date. That's the plan for right now. Reporting tonight from Las Vegas ballpark, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.